Stein again. I if we can still go away. I almost forgot to mention, do be careful beyond this, Kevin. Sorcerers there do not take kindly to insults, attitudes, or sometimes even posturing. Remember, you live at our pleasure when you're an Aaron Clare. Fair warning. I think part of the conversation is uh, missing there. As he, has, he seemed to be talking about halfway through. And fog's gone again. Oh, motherfucker. I'm dead. I am so dead. Brilliant. How far back are we? Yeah, that's all right. Let's see if it triggers properly this time. At this very moment, Britannia burns. Yeah, it's like half a conversation. Well, now I can get across there. <laughs> if I do air walk, assuming it doesn't bounce me off the fucking side. So let's try it. Air walk. Ooh, just. Fucking just. I totally need to find teleport, I don't have to do that again. Hmm. I don't know which is the right way. This might be it. Yes. Yes, Avatar, seek our way home. I will. Let's we'll seek a teleport first. There we go. Ah, uh, I'm fine, Pora. Sorcerer, wouldn't you? The name would be Summon Demon. Yeah, I think Pyromancy was very complicated if I remember. Don't know why the fire is not animated. Ah, stranger comes to the enclave. How rare. You're also a stranger to the island of Morgalen, are you not? Yes. 
So I thought, what might he be called, my friend? I'm just like, oh, what an interesting name. I'm sure to make note of it. However, you need a name that has meaning in the elder tongue. Friends that your name should be Damion, means fire of the sky. Do you like it? Yeah, whatever. Grants me to hear it. Perhaps later when you've gender it, you'll be given a true name. Damien seems right and will suffice for now, or may I assist you? That's a true name. It's a very question you unlearned in the ways of sorcery and sorceress. For that matter, a true name is the name given to a sorcerer when she begins her training. The name you choose later or given before I have no power. I'm called Bane, although it's not my true name. What is your true name? Not so quickly, Damon, perhaps. When you have grown accustomed to each other more, I shall reveal that to you. Till that time, I shall remain mine, mine only. Power over what? Power of fire, of course. The true name of the sorcerer is wielded in the spell to give it meaning. The true name of the demon binds it to the sorcerer's will. Even the most powerful demon, the Lord of Flame himself, may be commanded. So if one has the tongue of fire. What is the tongue of fire? I know very little about it, save that it's the focus of the sorcerer's ability to control the Lord of Flame. Tell me about the Lord of Flame. Lord of Flame is no other than the Titan of the Element of Fire. He's bound to the will of the sorceress long ago and remains bound to this very day by his chained might that we control our sorcery. Sorcery is the art of manipulating fire. Not an easy path to take, as you can see by the scars that mark those of my sorceress kind. Oh, it does have its rewards. Fire is the most powerful and destructive of the elements, as the Lord of Flame is the most potent of the Titans. I know the names and titles by which people address them, address them, but the elements they have, have reign over, other than this, I cannot or will not tell you, at least not yet. Alright, what? What do you mean? Tell me you know what the Titans are. No. Good that you do know, for I do not think one could come from so far and be ignorant of the Titans. I've never met an Outlander before, but you must be from far away to not know the elements. Far away indeed, nonetheless. Be welcome for I tell you of them if you wish, do you? Yes. This is Earth, base and slow element. Its power is over death and the land. It makes its well with fire, but I mislike the feel of it personally. What is next to it is, of course, unloved by those who follow the sorcerer's path, but I cannot in good faith call it a weak element. Uh, for its Baliwick extends throughout the deep seas and the air is fond cohort of the end storms. The air follows, water and fire use it as they will, while earth all but ignores it. Don't take it lightly, however, for life is its power and none can exist without it. Fire is last ball for the greatest, as a sorcerer and a well care of the caress of the flame. Its power in the undoing of all that exists, but also has the ability to create. It does not a blacksmith use it to forge better steel? As a baker not use it to make bread that feeds him. Is there anything else that he would like to discuss? Tell me the older tongue. It's my speciality for I'm average student language and all languages for that matter. The elder tongue allows sorcerers such as myself to unleash or bind fire. All acolytes must learn to create the enchanted tools of our trade. One's rod staves, another imperishable metal paraphernalia of the trappings of a sorcerer. I for I, for one, am an acolyte sorcerer. Acolytes are the group of sorcerers that the master calls upon to aid him in his performance of his sorcery. Malkir is a wise one, but his self-interest is counter to my own outgoing nature. He should become more concerned with other sorcerers instead of always hiding himself away. Not unless he makes fine and powerful master, otherwise other acolytes, other acolytes' malicious comments are unwarranted and should take no heed of them. I would only perpetuate these comments to give them voice, therefore I shall refrain. Tell me more about sorcerers. If you wish to know, if you wish, but know this. The real power of the true name will only be given to one initiated by other our ways. Would you know about the current sorcerers, or perhaps some of those that went before? Current. Living sorcerers of the Cabal are divided into two groups, the body and the will. The body is made up of all the acolytes, and the will is that of the master. Acolytes are poorly led by the first acolyte, who is more beast than man. His name is Vardion, and you do well to avoid him. His odour can be most offensive. I, of course, am also one of the acolytes, and there's Gogrond, sometimes a bit slow of wit, and easily led astray by those that he thinks are of great importance. Lastly, there's Beren, a man to be trusted. He's good as his word, and his word is beyond reproach. Could do worse than take his advice in all things. Well, I know him already. Tell me of Vardium. 
Not to put too fine point on it, he's a brutish, overbearing, pompous lout, in other words. I find his presence intolerable, and if Master Malkir were not so engrossed in his own affairs, I feel sure he would allow me to issue the calling to Varadion, um, even if it's, it's the first acolyte. Calling is a challenge from one source to another, and invariably ends in the death of one of the participants. No other form of arbitration is allowed, save that the Master deems fit. Where we should keep our peace among ourselves. The rules of issuing a call are as follows. No sorcerer may call upon another without the permission of the master. Except when the master calls or is called. Only the acolytes may call upon the master. Sorcerer who breaks these simple rules can usually number his remaining days on one hand. First acolyte is chosen to be the master's second in command and tends to be daily affairs of running the enclave. The master tends to someone who understands people. Someone with a vision for the future, Vadion is not this someone, for it is contrary, he lingers in the past. Observing outdated traditions for tradition's sake, but I'd digress. Sometimes you grow bored with this line of conversation. Not bored, just dis- <laughs> Oh, please go on. Well, I'll trust you further knowledge of our predicament, I reason to believe that Vadion is preparing to assassinate the master. Thinks that Malkia breaks too many of the old traditions but for his, his power should he kill Mike Malkyo and become master will return the enclave to days when sorcerers are shunned by the rest of the island's populace you get to the point hand might ask a favour of you and need someone to enter into the confidence of the first acolyte and cry from him his true name this will aid me in performing a scrying to know Vadian's motives will you do this if so I can offer you a position as a disciple or even acolyte should Vadian's intentions be murderous What else can you offer? You made a fair greater offer than you apparently are capable of understanding because sorcerers become one with power. Take that as you will. What do you want? Please forgive me. I'm not so sure I should. Yeah, blah blah. I agree to your terms. Good. You have set the wise, my daemon. Firstly, in order to become a disciple, you must have an acolyte for a sponsor. I shall be that for you. Secondly, as your sponsor, I will give you a true name. Damon, you are to me, and Damon, you should read to the fire. My inner light sight, judged by your name correctly, it would seem. I've always had that ability. To lend power to your true name must reveal mine to you. Sabrian it is, and it means a well of stars. Now your first task to disciple is entering the confidence of our illustrious first acolyte. Get from him his true name. Okay, no. How will you do this? Just get it. Fair enough. Oh, God. So. Okay, it sleeps only half ten. First acolyte, here we go. <laughs> nice club. Feel free to enter in the sorcerer's enclave without my permission. <laughs> nah, I've saved it. I go where I will. I have some fire in you after all. But in truth, while you're here, you go anywhere I say, understood? Yes. Good. Glad to see I try. Now then, I'm a busy man. What do you wish of me? What do you do? Five on first acolyte of the sorcerer's enclave. Keeps in mind that we'll have no strife. Tell me this place. How can it be that you do not know the sorcerer's enclave? I'm a stranger here, you're a stranger indeed, but regardless, I'll tell you because you need to be aware of the danger you're in while here. This is the sorcerer's, en sorcerer's enclave. As first acolyte, it's my duty to make sure that the sorcerers learn about the fire and keep the old ways alive. The old ways are the rituals and ceremonies that we use to bind the Lord of Flame to our wills. Use a lot of flames. 
Father of Demons, here's the channel pit from which all fire comes. Yes, all demons owe allegiance to Pyros for their born and their life ended in flames. Paris is the name of the Lord of Fire. No, no, tell me the fire. Fire is all consuming, it lives within the mountain, it burns within your own body, it is the element that gives my life to study. What do you mean, what is an element? Where do you come from? You could possibly be so ignorant. You come from another world. By the Guardian, I found a world traveller. My grandmother always said there were other worlds out there. It's a shame she couldn't be here to see proof. Did she die? No, she just vanished one day. No one knows where she is. Her name was Mordra. She was a powerful mage. Maybe she found a way to leave this world. Perhaps she went to yours. Perhaps. What was your world called? Britannia. An odd sounding name, but strangely enough, it sounds familiar. I believe you asked me things. What element is? Elements number four earth, water, and fire, and each has power intrinsic to it. Tell me more of earth. Earth is useful. Fire, it forms a channel for which fire flows and fires the fuel by which it burns. The Mountain King, Lord of Fire, have almost no conflict of wills. How could one be born a pagan and not know the earth titan? His necromancers attend the dead, put them beneath the ground to become his servants. His dominion is over land and death. Are you finished? Psst. Tell me of this place. Sorcerer's Enclave. Blah blah blah. Why did that drop out? You have demons of Tenebrae. It costs dullard. Do you think we have the time to grow our own food, make our own clothing, craft our own buildings? We have Tenebrae show knowledge that a lot of flames will remain uh, bound and that volcano. <laughs> will remain dormant. <laughs> In return they free us from the necessity of handling our more basic needs. Shrewd bargaining. Yes, I'll become a sorcerer. I'll personally see you tutoring. That's after you perform one small service. What might that be? I'll tell you once the deal is struck, I won't make you do something you won't regret. Are you prepared to undertake my task? I bet I know what it's going to be. Uh, it just keeps bloody skipping through. Uh, yes, I'm prepared. Excellent. Pact has been made. You will now be my disciple. I sense that you are one of the rare individuals who the fire has chosen. The fire gives you the true name. Damien, again, all tactics that name is your strength and also weakness. My true name is Morduin. I give it to you so that you may learn sorcery from me. Reveal, on a, a, yeah, reveal it on a pain of death. The task I must perform is to gain the true name of Bane. Uh, she's power hungry and ambitious. It's my belief she seeks the death of the master and myself in order to become the most powerful sorcerer pagan. It's not a problem in itself, but it's how she intends to go about it that causes the problem. Wish she to issue the calling and challenge by the proper methods, I would surely defeat her, but knowing this, she intends to strike clandestinely. The factions that exist in this enclave will war if this happens. The possibility of losing con uh, control of the Lord of Flame will vastly increase, and should this catastrophe come to pass, Pagan will be doomed. You must hurry, I know not when she will attack. Okay, so I'm going to have to... Uh, Decide which one I want. Yeah, screw it. We'll help her, why not? Her name's cooler. Bean. Bean. Yes. Do you get a chance of knowing Valiant's true name? Yes. Wonderful. Give it to me and we'll perform the ritual necessary to end Valiant's designs upon the mastery. Modwin. Ah, yes. I should have guessed it. Dark flame. Could be no other. Thank you, myself. I'm not prepared to witness his undoing. A 
serve you, mistress. Find one called Morduin and put an end to his life and then return from whence you came. Command that you do this in Pyros' name. Yes, mistress. I do so enjoy the cries of torment. I've sensed a demonic presence within the confines of the enclave. Bane, what is the meaning of this? Forgive me, Master. Vardin was planned to assassinate you. With the aid of this stranger, some of the demon to rid us of the threat. Surely you understand I had to do something. I understand no such thing. Get up. You should have brought this to my attention for I tell me of baseless suspicions. Yes, Master. I only sought to protect you. Nice cloak. In your feeble attempt at guarding my person, you have destroyed a valuable acolyte at a time when I need to call upon the Lord of Flame. How exactly do you propose we solve the dilemma, Bane? If you allow me to become your first acolyte, I believe I can also give you a fine disciple to assist in the ritual of fire. That one there. He calls himself a Slignor. His sorcery potential is truly great. Can you not feel it? Of course I can. Do not presume to tell me my craft. Teach him our ways and keep him in mind that he is your disciple. All his actions reflect upon you, first acolyte. Yes, I understand, my master. I'll provide you with an excellent acolyte who will begin training immediately. See that you do. When he's ready, send him to me. If you can survive the obsidian fortress, he'll be ready for the ritual of flame. Yeah, great. Well, disciple, it's time to make an acolyte out of you. Go and read the books out of our library. They'll show you how to become a sorcerer. Come to me only if you have questions about sorcery in general. Here's the key to the library. Run along now. Run along now. Gotta find the damn library first. This might be the library. And that's Baron's house. Set of reagents. Bag really, I've got enough jewelry box. It's the fucking library. Oh, right. A bag. Back though.
Oh, there you go, library. 